Replacing the fuser maintenance kit on the HP 4200, 4250, and 4350. Please turn your printer off and allow it to cool for 30 minutes before beginning the procedure. Switch the printer off and remove the power cord and the communication cable. We'll move around to the front, open the top cover, and pull the toner cartridge out. Do not expose the cartridge to light. We recommend placing a couple of sheets of paper over the cartridge. Lower the front guide. Take your transfer roller hook. Find the metal shaft and lift it up slightly, not too far. This will loosen the, the transfer roller. Lift the transfer roller out. Make sure you put your glove on, on your right side, and pull the roller out. Take your new roller, insert it on the right side. Be sure you have your glove on and not to touch the surface. Angle the guide so it faces down. It snaps in. Put your toner cartridge back in the printer. Now we'll replace the roller. Remove your accessory cover. Find the two square blocks by the roller. Spread them and the roller pops out. Take your new roller. Put the guide in from the bottom and snap it in on the top. Pull your paper tray out. Remove the paper. Open the front door. Locate the clip on the roller. Squeeze the clip and the roller slides off the shaft. Take your new roller and just simply slide it back on the shaft. Take your paper tray the rest of the way out and locate the roller underneath. Squeeze the clip and the roller slides right off the shaft. Take your new roller and slide it back onto the shaft. Reinsert your paper tray with the paper. Moving around to the back, locate the indent on the left side, insert your finger. The rear cover comes off, squeeze the blue clips, and the fuser slides out. Take your new fuser, slide it back in until it snaps and you'll hear a click. Take your rear cover, slide it in on the right and the left and you'll hear it snap in. Turn your printer on. When you see the megabyte me message, Hold in the check button until all three lights appear on the left and stay on. Press the up arrow until you see new maintenance kit. Then press check. The printer will reset and reset the maintenance counter. Once the printer comes up to the ready mode, you can verify by pressing check, arrow down to information, press check, press check on print configuration. The printer will print a report to confirm the maintenance count has been reset. And you're done. The maintenance procedure is complete.